Hey guys, your challenge for today is to create a design that makes it look like you're showing something in progress. So here I have a simple swirl that I drew with a paintbrush and I'll go ahead and hit play and you can see as it runs through what it does. Okay, so this is your simple challenge for today. Let me show you how to get it started. Um, go ahead and create a new file and this is fine. Um, HTML5 canvas is good and just go ahead and click create. All right, now that you have that, um, you can do whatever you want. You can type, you can draw, you can create whatever you want. But remember with our challenges, we try to get it done in one class period. So here is my paintbrush. I'll just do the same swirl, something similar. Let me actually do something where it doesn't touch. Okay. And what you want to do is to go ahead and put it out. I think on my last one, I did it um, three seconds long. Yep. So about three seconds long is fine. It, as long as you give yourself enough time to do it, it's up to you. Um, what I'm going to do is to right click and I'm going to say uh, create or insert keyframe. The shortcut for that's F6. And then what you need to do is to do what's called create frame by frame um, animation. So if you right click on this, here's your tweening options and right underneath of it, it says convert to frame by frame animation. Now you can do a keyframe for every frame, every other frame, every third or fourth frame, whatever you want to do. I wanted to use the onion skin on this. So I wanted to do every third frame just to make sure I could still see the onion skin. Um, so that's what I chose. All right, so every single frame is the same. And what um, I think is the easiest to do is to start with the end one and then work backwards. So go ahead and take your eraser tool, erase away a little bit, go to your next one. Um, again, to turn on your onion skin, it's gonna be right here. And then you can start to see what it looked like before. And so I'm gonna go a little bit more and then every one you're going to go further and further back. Um, and then as you get closer to the beginning, you should be down to the very start. So you just keep going back a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Okay. And you can see if I am to do this, if I use the playhead and scrub over it, you can see what it looks like. Okay. So in the end, you should be left with something that looks like that. Again, you don't have to do the swirl. You can do whatever you want. You could do your signature. You could draw. Um, just try to keep it within the 50 minute class period. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.